Hi, I'm Owen Davis, and today I'm going to be going through my uh, personal wellness plan. So first, I'm going to be walking through the uh, specifics in each dimension that I need to work on, and then I will go through my uh, smart plan for each one. So for emotional wellness, I need to recognize when I'm stressed and take steps to manage my stress better. To improve my environmental wellness, I need to better understand the impact that my actions have on the environment. For my intellectual wellness, I need to learn more than is just learn more than what is just required of me. For my occupational wellness, I need to use my talents and skills to better my workplace. For physical wellness, I need to stick to a normal and healthy sleep cycle. For social wellness, I'm gonna seek out opportunities to form new relationships. And for spiritual wellness, I'm going to just try to think about what's important in life more often and be grateful about what I have. So for emotional wellness, the uh, the SMART plan principle. So for S, I'm going to take time to manage my stress and reflect on myself. M, I'm going to write down what's causing my stress. A, I'm going to take steps to reduce my stress. R, taking time to reduce stress is relevant because it helps overall health. And T, I would like that just have a noticeable amount of like less stress uh, by the end of the year for environmental wellness um my plan is to take up time to pick up trash in my area is the s m is going to be try to pick up a bag of trash every month and uh to do that i'm going to set aside time on the uh, weekends to pick up trash and, um, you know, living in a healthy and clean environment is important. So that's the, uh, the R. That's why it's relevant. And for the time, uh, if I'm able to stick to my uh, one bag of trash per month, I should have three by the end of the year. Um, for my intellectual wellness, um, I'm going to read the 10x rule. Um, I'm going to be reading two chapters a week on that. Uh, I'll be taking time out of my weekend to do that. Um and yeah, I should be finished by the uh, end of the year on that book if I can uh, stick to my two chapters a week. Um, so for occupational wellness, I'm going to try to use my talents to uh, benefit others at my job. Uh, and just, you know, as a reminder to keep myself motivated at work, I'm going to try to write down every time I can use a skill or something that helps someone. And um, helping at work is just a reward in and of itself. And uh, it's important to uh, to serve others. So uh, for physical wellness, I'm going to be using a, a smartwatch to track my sleep. And uh, it's going to take some scheduling to uh, get in bed earlier. And um, sleep is relevant because it has a direct impact on how well you can function in your everyday life. Um, so for social wellness... I'm going to uh, try to find a new group that I can, uh, you know, just group of people to hang out with or an activity par to participate in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to make an effort to spend time with that group on a regular basis. And um, so for my spiritual wellness, I'm going to start writing down things I'm grateful for more often. And um, I'm going to try to write down one thing every night before I go to bed. And uh, I should have 81 things written down by the uh, end of the year. And um, I mean, just to talk about the uh, obstacles that, you know, having a wellness plan creates. Um, la laziness is going to be the biggest one because it's hard to stay motivated. But um, that's why it's important to reward yourself. So the reward I just thought of off the top of my head would be going out to eat, um, you know, spending time with friends who are motivated is good support. And um, for me, I like to work out with my friends. So we keep up with each other, keep each other motivated. And um, yeah, it's just good to have friends to uh, check up on how you're doing and all these different uh, dimensions of your wellness. So thank you for watching the video. This has been my uh, personal wellness plan.